This is a massive air intake, isn't it? And if you are into Japanese cars, you might know that these air intakes are a sign of turbocharged Subaru vehicles. And this is a real classic. Here we have the 1998 Subaru Impreza GT. In Asian markets, it was already known as the WRX. Let's have a look into this classic vehicle. It was back in 1992 when Fuji Heavy Industries, this was the name of the company then, now it's called Subaru Corporation, started the production of the Impreza model range as the successor of the L-Series. In 1997 there was a slight facelift that brought a larger grille and uh, revised bumpers and headlights. And then, only then, Europe got the GT version in Japan, I guess the WRX was available far earlier already. The sign of the GT is not only here in the bumper, the large um, uh, fog lights that were, by the way, not only available for the GT, but also for the slower 2.0 RX model with 115 horsepower. And we see the air intake here for the intercooler of the uh, turbocharger that brings the cooling air inside. This car has a power output of 211 horsepower out of this 2.0 liter flat engine or boxer engine. This car was first registered in March 1998 and it belongs to the German Subaru importer. It only has 4630 kilometers on the clock so it's almost new and of course we will handle it with care that it remains almost new as it is. You see 16 inch alloy wheels, the Impreza was available as a sedan as we see it here and as a kind of yeah, shooting brake, station wagon, compact kind of weird thing. The length measures, uh, measures uh, 4 meters and 34 centimeters and the car is only 1 meters and 40 high. And yeah, it's compared to current compact cars or crossovers, it's of course, it's a small and tiny car, but still looks fresh and good, in my opinion. Here at the rear, you see the exhaust system. Of course, we will have a closer look or we will hear how it sounds later on. And the rear spoiler. When Subaru brought the WRX models to export markets and later, of course, the WRX STI cars, the rear spoiler grew, massif uh, grew massively in size, but here you see a more decent version. That, by the way, is a classic car key. No remote, nothing. And here you see the boot or trunk that measures 353 liters. So that was, or still is, quite large compared to also to modern compact cars isn't it? Now we will have a look inside, but first let's move back to the front of the car. A driving machine like this has its heart under the hood and of course we will have a look into here. It's a 2.0 EJ20 called 2 liter flat engine, boxer engine. At later WRX models, there was a 2.5 liter engine and also here under the hood, the car looks as new. That's the turbocharger, here the intercooler and the air intake for the intercooler. And 
So that's how it looks like. And of course, we will very soon experience how it drives. Join me. My height is 1 meter 92 centimeters, that's 6 feet 3 inches. I'm not normal and I was not the typical Japanese guy at the time when they did the size construction of that car. Therefore, I don't fit in here. The driver's seat is uh, adjusted into my personal seating position, so we keep it here with the look through the camera eye. The fabric on the seat is quite nice. And the outside seats can be folded, or the, the backrest can be folded down to increase the boot capacity. And when we have a look into the door panel, we see fabric as well. This is quite nice and uh, it's not all about black plastics only. And if we have a look to the door itself, we see no rust, nothing. So the car really is almost brand new in a top condition. And we see frameless windows at the doors, front and back door. And this is also uh, yeah, quite a nice detail, a design detail of the car, isn't it? Let's move further forward into the cockpit. The front seats are quite sportive but small. You see that the headrest is not high enough for me. Again, this is made for Japanese people, I guess, back in the 1980s or 1990s when the car was designed and engineered. The seats themselves are sport seats and uh, they give a lot of fold. So I like sitting here. It's uh, also comfortable on longer journeys still. And the steering wheel in front of the driver is a Momo sourced sports steering wheel and that can be adjusted in terms of its height. It's quite heavy, by the way. <laughs> This is the cockpit of the Subaru Impreza, how it looked like starting with the 1997 facelift. There's a new dashboard or upper part of the dashboard and an additional storage compartment here. There we have some kids audio cassettes. They are still available, by the way, and uh, they fit into this classic cassette radio here. There's no air condition, at least according to the German price list. You only had the choice with the um, 2.0. GL season called model with 115 horsepower uh, that came with air condition as standard equipment. All other Impreza models, including the GT, just had the roof, sunroof, but no air condition, so it gets quite hot here in summer indeed. Here's the height adjustment of the headlights and the bright button. This is quite significant. You feel it? You see it? Me neither. The only thing the bright button is changing is the brightness of the <laughs> clock here in the instrument cluster. That's pretty much it. We see, of course, analog instruments and the evidence that this car has only 4,631 kilometers at the moment. So um, I told you that before. And here we've got a sticker at the door warning that uh, if you had, um, well, I just read it. When stopping the engine after heavy highway driving, allow it to idle for one minute so the turbocharger needs to cool down and oil needs to be changed every uh, 12,500 kilometers or seven and a half thousand miles and every six months so you really need to maintain that engine of course yeah the steering wheel i mentioned already and here we've got the gear shifter of the five speed manual transmission and here the key and i would say we now start our test drive back into 1998. 
2 liter four cylinder engine delivers up to 211 uh, horsepower and a maximum torque of 270 newton meters and once you pass 3000 revs you feel the push of the turbocharger you hear it you hear the the noise or the sound it's not a noise it's quite nice and you re you're really feeling what the machine is doing and what uh, it wants you to do behind the steering wheel the suspension is quite comfy in my opinion it's quite nice it's not a, a, a stiff sports car you can easily travel long distances so it's a true gt a grand turismo and i like the five speed manual transmission all feels like a new car almost new car the steering of course we've got a servo steering but it still needs some work behind the steering wheel yeah and the car with the all-wheel drive and the limited slip differential at the rear axle is really doing great on the road. Full throttle, third gear, and then up to the fifth gear. 6.6 seconds from zero to 100 and a maximum speed of uh, 231 kilometers per hour. Don't sound that amazing compared to modern cars, but in this classic car, the speed feels, yeah, it, it feels great. It's, uh, the car is quick, it's fast, it's easy uh, to control it. The wind noise is okay and yeah, that's pure driving and you really control the machine with the gear shifter, the steering wheel, I like it. It is great fun driving this car. It's agile, it's responsive, and yeah, that's true driving, not being driven with air condition, seat heating, a massage function, etc. So it's yeah, pure fun. The Impreza GT is quite rare here in Europe. Of course, the WRX and WRX STI models were more famous and are more searched for in terms of used or classic cars. Therefore, it's really hard to, yeah, to say what this car is worth at the moment. The list price back in 1998 in Germany was 48,990 Deutsch marks, which is around about 24,000 euros. And I guess if you find a buyer for this car in this condition, it would be, yeah, I would say around 40 to 50,000 euros. There are a lot of cheaper cars available, but they are yeah, tuned, they are used as a rally car and uh, they are not in a condition as uh, this one. Thanks for watching this classic car video here at Asia Auto Ambassador. I hope you liked the insights into the history of Subaru. The Impreza nameplate is still active also in Europe. It's the current compact hatchback available as a boxer or flat engine with 114 and 150 horsepower as a mild hybrid. 
In the US and Japan you still get the WRX as a sedan and the WRX based on the Livorque as a uh, station wagon. We don't get these in Europe unfortunately and there won't be any new WRX STI, at least one with a uh, ICE engine. This is what Subaru confirmed already. Thanks again for watching. Thanks to Andreas, the guy behind the camera and see you next time here at Asia Auto Ambassador. Bye bye.